What is up guys, Joey here with GSM Gaming with a rather big achievement guide for a weapons master in Resident Evil 6, awarded for 10 kills with pretty much every weapon in the game. Now a few things before we start, weapons are gotten throughout the campaign levels, pick them up in cases, but if you miss them that's alright because you can pretty much replay any chapter with all the weapons. Uh, so if you already beat the game for each person you're pretty much good. Um, the only thing you have to note is that you have to get actual kills, you can't just injure the enemies, that should go without saying. Um, and it doesn't really matter if you quick shot, any way you can kill an enemy will do you good in here. Um, can quick shot, can snipe. Um, the melee kills aren't really accounted for weapon kills, so that should also go without saying. Um, there are some weapons that you don't have to get kills for, but we're going to cover every weapon that you do. Uh, one thing to note that you could check your progress for this at any time by going to the records menu and going over to the weapons tab. Just make sure you're looking at the number next to enemies defeated and not next to times used. So uh, getting started, the first weapon, the handgun 909. Um, you can get it with either Chris or Jake. Now the handguns aren't really that powerful, but you only need 10 kills with them. Uh, as you can see for this weapon and the rest of the weapons in this video, the top right hand corner you can see the weapon, the name of it, and the bottom left corner you can see the characters you can get kills for that weapon with. So starting off with handguns, the second handgun is the Picador. It is completely unique to Helena and again it's a handgun. It's not that powerful but uh, you only need 10 kills so really shouldn't take you that long to get them out of the way. You can do it on any of Helena's chapters. You could also do these in the Mercenaries, um, but campaign is easier in my opinion. The third handgun is the Wing Shooter. It is my favorite handgun for no particular reason, uh, and it's completely unique to Leon, so shouldn't be hard to get that one out of the way, but uh, moving past those shitty handguns. Uh, up next is Shotguns. Now the first shotgun is just pretty much called shotgun and uh, it's a pump action gun, really not that good. Uh, but you do have quite a few choices of people to get it with. You get it with Jake, Helena, uh, Sherry, or Leon. I'm doing it with Jake here. Just running around, killing Java as they show their masks. The second shotgun is the assault shotgun. Uh, this one you can go ahead and get with Chris, Piers, or Ada. And the assault shotgun is a bit better than the regular shotgun because it's not pump action. You don't have to pump it up after every shot. So you get a faster rate of fire. The third and my personal favorite shotgun is the Hydra. The Hydra is unique to Helena. And um, if you haven't gotten the Stuntman achievement yet, then you should probably go ahead and go for it now while you're getting these Hydra kills. Basically all you have to do is quick shot 20 people with the Hydra. If you already got the Stuntman achievement, then you won't even have to return and try to get kills with it. Uh, but the shotgun, the Hydra is a very good shotgun. Um, and it's also the last shotgun. Moving on after the Hydra are Magnums, and Magnums are extremely powerful. You should have no trouble getting Magnum kills. The first Magnum is the Lightning Hawk. Oh, you get Lightning Hawk kills with Leon or Helena in Leon's campaign. They're probably the most powerful guns in the game. The second one is called the Elephant Killer, and you could get it with Jake or Sherry. Uh, yes, you could kill an elephant with this thing. Uh, it is a magnum, very, 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 very powerful. Also, has quite a bit of recoil. And those are the only two magnums. After that, you're going to move on to sniper rifles. Now, uh, the first sniper rifle, uh, conveniently called sniper rifle, is a bolt-action sniper rifle. 
could get kills with this with Jake, Sherry, or Ada. It's probably easier with Ada because one whole part of her campaign uh, requires you. One well, doesn't really require, but um, you play as Ada, pretty much giving protection to Jake, Sherry, all the other cast members. <coughs> so it's probably easier there. Um, second sniper rifle is a semi automatic sniper rifle. You can get this with Leon, Helena, Chris, or Piers. We're gonna do it as Piers because he's a sniper naturally. And, um, this one isn't bolt action, hence the name semi automatic. Uh, but the third and my favorite sniper rifle is the anti material rifle. The anti material rifle is completely unique to Piers. Uh, it also has a thermal scope. Now, it doesn't matter if you use the thermal scope or the regular scope, all kills with it will count. And uh, I just have fun killing with this thing because it is extremely powerful. But moving on from sniper rifles, we have some machine pistols. And machine pistols, quite frankly, suck huge. Uh, we're not going to go there. But anyway, the first machine pistol is the Ammo Box 50. It is unique to Ada. Um, and it is very, very weak, but... It is automatic, easy to get kills with, and uh, you shouldn't have that much trouble racking up kills with it, especially since it's her main weapon somehow, besides the crossbow of course, which we'll get to. Uh, but the second machine pistol, which is actually worse than the ammo box 50, is the triple shot. The triple shot is completely unique to Sherry. And uh, it has two firing modes. You could shoot uh, single bullets at a time or three shot first, but quite frankly, it doesn't make a difference because the gun still sucks. Unless you have like a power upgrade for it. But um, plays any level of cherry, you'll have the triple shot and rack up 10 easy kills with it. Uh, the third and probably best machine pistol is the MPAF. Um, completely unique to Piers, it has two firing modes, automatic or single shot, and uh, again, which firing mode you choose doesn't really matter, as long as you're getting the kills with it. The MPAF is actually the last machine pistol, after that we are going to move on to assault rifles. Um, the assault rifle for special tactics, besides having a really stupid name, is completely unique to Chris, and uh, you can rack up kills with it in his campaign or in the mercenaries mode. Um, all assault rifles are pretty hard to aim with, but um, they're not hard to get kills with because they are very powerful. They eat up ammo though, so unless you have infinite ammo, be conservative. The second assault rifle is the Bear Commander, can be gotten kills with can be used uh, by Jake, Sherry, or Ada. A uh, very strong gun. It does have a grenade launcher attached, but if you use the grenade launcher, the kills will not count as bear command kills. Uh, they will not count as grenade launcher kills either, so beware of that. But the bear commander is very strong, very easy to get kills with. Plates down BOWs in one clip, so you should have no problem with that. Uh, the third and last assault rifle, and my personal favorite, is the assault rifle RN. Uh, it can be used by Leon and Helena. The cool thing about it is that it has a bayonet attached. Unfortunately, bayonet kills do not count towards assault rifle RN kills. They count as melee kills. But the assault rifle RN is very powerful. Very hard to aim with, just like assault rifles. And, uh, Gonna have too much trouble with it. Uh, but moving on from assault rifles, we have some unique weapons. The first one is the grenade launcher. Now the grenade launcher has three ammo types. Which type you use doesn't matter. They all count as grenade launcher kills. And uh, the grenade launcher in general is very strong, so you should have no problems getting kills with this gun. Um, it's only usable by Chris and Piers, uh, but you have more than enough opportunities in Chris's campaign to rack up kills with it. The second unique gun is completely unique to Ada, and it is the crossbow. The crossbow is very easy to get kills with, uh, and it is very accurate. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. I love using the crossbow personally. It also has explosive bolts, which you can use. If you like using quick shots, then uh, it has a really cool quick shot, and uh, you could get some very not fun kills with the crossbow in general. The explosive bolt kills do count for the crossbow, and uh, they are very strong, especially against BOWs. Moving on from the crossbow, we have the stun rod. Now, if you've gotten the high voltage achievement, you'll know about charged attacks. Um, charged attacks do not count as stun rod kills, so if you got that achievement, you may still have to go back and get killed with the stun rod. Um, just make sure when you're getting kills with the stun rod that you're not charging the attack, that you're just swinging. Um, because charged kills will not count as stun rod kills for some reason. I don't know why I didn't make the rules. Uh, but nonetheless, it's very easy to do, especially in Chapter 3, Jake's Campaign, as there are a ton of Java. And the stun rod is your only option, so if you're having trouble, revert to that chapter. And that's the stun rod. Now, the last two weapons that are easy to miss um, are the two knives. The survival knife is owned by Leon, and um, it's not that hard to get kills with. It's really not. Um, the only thing is you have to get kills with it. Most people prefer guns over knives, especially in Resident Evil, but um, you only need 10 kills with the survival knife. Uh, if you're having too much trouble, try turning down the difficulty, and if you have the melee skill, you can equip it and it will actually make the knife more powerful. So that's a useful tip. The survival knife is one of two knives. The second one is the combat knife. The combat knife is owned by Chris, and it's actually a lot more powerful than uh, the survival knife. But you can literally just hack dudes up with this. Um... Those are pretty much all the weapons. Now, remote bombs, grenades, any weapon that I didn't mention so far, you do not need kills with for the achievement. Um, and actually the survival knives and stun rod aren't guns, but if you hold out, get your 10 kills with all the weapons I just went over, eventually you'll get the weapons master achievement, or 30 gamer score. I hope I get it soon. There it goes. Weapons Master. 30 gamer score. Use all weapons in the game and kill 10 enemies with each of them. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a journey, and uh, editing this was certainly a bitch. But, uh, if this video liked, if you liked this video at all, or if it helped you out at all, please support my channel by leaving a like on this video and subscribing because I plan on making so much more videos like this. I have some good Resident Evil videos coming up. Also, if this video was hard to follow, there is a written walkthrough in the description, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Joey with GSM Gaming. Stay tuned.